One way to actually get your simulations. Once you've created your simulation, you need to know where that is stored, how to retrieve it, how to take snapshots of it, and basically how to share it with other people. That's what this lesson's about. We're going to go over how you capture a snapshot of a running simulation, how you get the sims off of and onto a device with, for Windows or Mac, then also getting a simulation from a web-based sim repository, and finally about putting on and taking off simulations from mobile devices, iOS and Android. So let's start with how you take snapshots of playing simulations. Well, of course, you open up Sims You Share, and you go to Play, and then you ru start running your simulation. Now in the menu, it will have right at the top, Take a Snapshot. This snapshot will not include the buttons on top, but it would include the arrows. So if you don't want the navigation arrows here, you can minimize that and then take your snapshot. If you do want the arrows, then you can leave it like that. Take a snapshot. It will then say, where do you want to save it? And then you can put it over here and say, Wayne Street side A. So you have to do each side individually. In the Simulation Developer 2 class, we'll show how to make videos from your simulations. You can use th third party tools to do that. One important note is if you are using Sims You Share on iOS, that has a built in video capture. So you can start the video capture, you can do your navigation or whatever, and it will save it onto your camera roll. But that feature is only available in Sims You Share on iOS. If you want to do a video capture on other platforms, look into the Sim Developer 2 class, or you can find some of our help tutorials on our page that specifically deal with recording screen animations on the other platforms. Let's now take a look at where your simulations are stored on Windows and Macintosh so you can understand how to get them off from your copy and pass them over to others. So on Windows and Macintosh, the simulations are stored by default in the document folder. Sims you Share makes a folder called Sims you Share. And you'll see three items here, a catalog, a Sims folder, and your picture cache. Inside your Sims folder is where you'll see all the assets for your simulations. They're organized under a name that's similar to the first name that you made for that scenario. So um, inside here, you'll see all the pictures. You'll see the definition file. So if you want to copy this over to someone else's computer or put it in a place to share, someone who has Sims you share, you basically copy the folder. And then you put it into their Sims You Share Sims folder. Not into their Sims You Share, but into their Sims folder. And then when you run Sims You Share, it examines the Sims folder. And if it sees a new simulation, it will tell it will tell you that. In the Sim Level 2 developer class, I'm going to show you how you can set up on Windows or Mac shared folders on your network to share simulations easily. Uh, but we also have the ability if you have a web server to create a repository in which you can put simulations and then download those simulations from uh, onto any device. You can see our repository in action by either going to edit or play. Let's say I'll go to play and then I go to the menu and say you notice download sims. So if I download sims it shows me here we have one repository and here's where you can add other repositories which we get to in our sim developer level 3 class. When I connect to that repository, it gives me a list of the simulations in that repository. I can select whichever one I want. I say, which ones do I want to transfer over here? Here it's saying I already have that sim on my computer, so let me just uh, overwrite it or copy it to new. Then I hit start, and we get this. And we saw this earlier in one of the earlier lessons, how we can pull sims down. So that gives you a Oh, an overview of how you can share your simulations uh, both by capturing snapshots and then also pulling the simulation off of a device and putting it onto any other device. We're going to get into many more specifics in level 2 and level 3 of Simulation Developer, but this should give you a good way of just being able to get your simulations over to other people and also get other people's sims onto your device.